Hi, I'm Ken Iverson. I lived in Portland for 27 years, and I'm a professional storyteller. I had an uncle that died before he was three years old, and my mother gave me these, his shoes, the shoes he was wearing when he died. I keep them in my living room as a reminder of my uncle. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't have things in your house, something left by your grandparents, by, by someone that either has passed on or has moved away, something you could build a story from. When I got these shoes, I know, I knew that I wanted to learn more about my Uncle Kenny, who I'm named after, and what happened to him. I started asking questions about when did he die? How did he die? Where did he live? Those are the same questions you can ask about any object in your house, and the stories start growing from the object. I was thinking back on my family, and I remember that my grandmother Louise had three children. The firstborn was Elizabeth, and that is my mother. And her second child was Robert, my Uncle Bobby. And her third child was Kenny. And Kenny I never met, because Kenny died before he reached three years old. No one in the family talked a lot about that. My mom wanted to tell me, and Uncle Bobby, they both told me some things of what they could remember about their time, although it was brief, with their younger brother. I don't remember my grandmother really talking to me about her son that died. And it was him that I was named after. My mom named me Kenny after him as part of remembering him. But I always felt that my grandmother Louise had a, a special soft spot in her heart for me, partly just because of the name that I carry. I started wondering about this story and I thought, what happened? How did he die? When? And I started asking questions of my mom and my Uncle Bobby. And then I learned the story. Kenny had received a tricycle for Christmas. He was so excited. It was his first bike. He was so happy to have it. But this was a long time ago, 1925, 1926. There weren't a lot of paved streets where they lived, and so much of the time he would ride the tricycle indoors. And one day they were all playing. Elizabeth, my mom, Bobby, and Kenny were all playing. And Kenny was riding the tricycle rapidly through the house, and the front wheel hit something. It was a Lincoln log or another toy, I don't know, but the wheel just stopped. The tricycle flipped, and he hit his head on the floor and fractured his skull. My mom and my Uncle Bobby both started screaming for their mother, for my grandmother Louise to come in, and she came running into the room, and there she saw her youngest son laying there, not moving at all, bleeding. And she knew, she knew it was such a horrible situation almost hard for me even to relate to. If something happens today, I just pick up my cell phone and I call and I get emergency response in four or five minutes at the most. They didn't even have a phone. They didn't have the money to take a cab to get to a hospital. And before they could get anywhere and get Kenny help, he died. A death of a child is a tragic thing always. And it drove that family apart. My mom's father left soon after that and traveled, and then the depression was hitting around that time, so he traveled looking for work, and eventually he and Louise divorced. And Louise raised my mom and my Uncle Bobby. And as I said, I don't remember Louise telling me much about Kenny at all. But before she died, she gave something to my mother She gave my mother Kenny's shoes. These were the ones he was wearing on the day he died. My mother gave them to me. And I keep them in the living room of my house. And occasionally people ask about them and I'll tell them the story as much, I, much uh, as I know of it. 